welcome back to Love Your Food. This week we have a beautiful simple recipe for you. This is a potato roasty. Now this is more in the uh, sort of uh, traditional Dutch style. Uh, it's not really related to the, um, the traditional Jewish uh, potato latke which has flour and egg in it. This is a much more simple uh, basic recipe and we're going to show you the ingredients. As you can see, we're starting with a potato. This is just a baking potato or a russet potato. We're going to use an onion and we're going to use some thyme. Uh, as usual, all of the amounts are going to be in the description below. So Chef Caleb's going to start, uh, we're going to grate the potato. So uh, if you have a mandolin, you can also use that for this. Uh, we prefer to use the grater. It gives it a little bit more texture, honestly, when it's all cooked. Uh, if your potato uh, is not quite clean uh, and you want to peel it, you can. We like to just give it a really good cleaning and grate it with the skin because it has more flavor and uh, you get more nutrients that way as well. If, uh, if you want to peel it, you can. Uh, we feel like you're missing out when you do that, but it's, it's, it's uh, of course, all up to you. So there you go. You want to get all of your potato done. And uh, once that is all grated, we're just going to leave it for a second. We're going to let it all sort of um, rest for a moment, on, and then we're going to start grating our onion on top of that. So... Uh, we don't want to salt it or anything yet. We don't want uh, any kind of uh, seasoning just yet. We're going to get to that later. So next thing is the onion. So you see uh, Chef Caleb here is going to, he's got the outer skin off the onion and he's just going to grate it on the same size as the, uh, as he did the potato. And again, you want to go just down far enough that uh, you don't get your skin in there. And that's really all you need to do as far as the prep work for getting the uh, the actual potato ready. So we're going to give that a sprinkle of salt now and give it a good stir to make sure that everything's well combined. So we're going to combine the potato with the onion, give it a good stir, make sure that salt has got good contact with everything. Potatoes can take a lot of salt. They do tend to soak it up uh, and you do want to make sure you've got uh, enough seasoning in there. So give that a good stir, a good mix, and we're just going to leave that for a little while and let some of the juices come out because we want to make sure our uh, potatoes for the roasty are going to be a little drier than this. So you can see they're quite damp already. They're quite, uh, some of the moisture is coming out. We're just going to let that sit for a little while and uh, let all of that come out. So in the meantime, we're going to get our thyme ready. So we're just going to peel the, uh, the nice fresh leaves off of the stems. And then we're just going to give that a little chop. So this uh, does a couple of things. It uh, sort of releases some of the uh, those flavorful oils from the from the leaves, and it also breaks up any little bits of stem that you might have into really really small bits. So you're not going to really notice it if they uh, if they're still in there. So once your thyme has had a little chop, it doesn't need to be particularly fine. This is all going to cook together. We're going to go back to our potatoes. This has been sitting for a little while. This has been sitting for uh, uh, 15 minutes, maybe even half an hour. And you just want to give it a light squeeze. You don't want to really crush it in your hands because you'll break down the, uh, the fibers and it'll change the texture. You just want to give it a light squeeze to get as much of that liquid out as possible without just crushing it. You can just push it against the side of the... You can see how much liquid comes out. You can see that's our slightly dried potato. So this is the potato and onion mixture. You may want to use gloves for this if the onion is particularly sharp. Because sometimes that gives a slightly acidic feel on your hand. Then we're going to add our thyme. And just give that a good mix. Make sure that everything is, once again, well combined. So we've got some melted butter in our pan. And we've got our, uh, our roasty ready on a plate. So we're just going to spread that out to the, about the size of the pan. Give it a good uh, sprinkling with salt on one side. Once again, we're going to salt it again because these are potatoes and they require some salt. Uh, you definitely want some salt and pepper in order to get that nice uh, Maillard reaction and get that nice sear on one side. So a little bit of salt, some black pepper, and then try to loosen it up a little bit and then flip it over into your pan. Now. Everything's uncooked at this point, so if it's a little broken up, that's fine. You can just sort of massage it in the pan, being careful not to touch the pan itself. And 
uh, make sure that it's all sort of stuck together uh, as one piece in there. It's okay if you push it down a little bit. So once that starts to get a little color on one side, we're actually going to put that in the oven so it starts to cook. We want to give it a good roast on both sides. So that's going to come out. And you can see that nice little bit of brown around the outside. So what we're going to do is just make sure that that comes up and is not stuck to the pan. We've got these great uh, nonstick pans that do this. And what we're going to do is uh, just turn this out onto a plate because we want to put another layer of butter down so that we can get a nice sear on the other side as well. So that's going to flip out onto the plate. And then we're right away going to get some more butter into the pan and just let that melt. So we're just going to let that melt in there. Once that's melted, our uh, roastie is going to go back in. Now it's a little easier to move around now because it's sort of one piece. And then immediately that's going to go back into the oven to just roast and get some good color on the other side as well. So again, when you see around the edge that the other side has a little bit of color, you can do some fancy flips if you like. We're just going to uh, take that out and that's ready to go, honestly. Uh, it's going to carry over a little bit, uh, a little bit more if you leave it out. We're going to take that out onto a cutting board and then we're just going to cut it. Uh, and really depends on the size of your pan, the, the size of uh, the, how big the roaster you made is. It gets that nice fluffy inside, but uh, serving size is entirely up to you. You can cut into quarters, we cut ours into sixths. Uh, really depends on how hungry everyone is and uh, how much potato you want everyone to have. And this is a great side dish. It's uh, super, super easy and uh, goes really well with uh, all sorts of grilled meats. You can serve this with uh, um, some kind of... Uh, we had this with the uh, beef and beet stew that we made not too long ago. Really, really easy, and that's it. Um, fantastic, simple side dish to make. Um, really delicious. You can obviously change that however you like for a flavor profile that you like, change the seasoning and all that sort of thing. And that's it. So if you like this recipe, please do like and subscribe. And if you have any recipes you'd like the She Chef Caleb try on the channel, please let us know in the comments below. And remember to love your food.